the Milky Way. Oh, uh, Milky Way. Um, I like a Twix. Say Twix. Twix! Mars. Probably Snickers. Galaxy Caramel. The Caramel Galaxy. 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 Malteser. It's got to be Maltesers. That's definitely. I agree with Maltesers. Maltesers. Oh, Maltesers, easy. Oh, Maltesers! Bro, Maltesers is the correct answer. Bitch, you copy me. I agree. Maltesers. Probably a Malteser. Malteser. Maltesers. 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 Um, I would go Maltesers. I can't have celebrations because I'm allergic to dairy. Bounty. Bounty. Treat people with kindness. Spread love and kindness to everyone. Doesn't matter who they are, or where they come from, or what they look like. Either cycle instead of drive to places, or repair. Don't throw away your stuff straight away. Don't follow the other person in front. Make your own way. No lying. Everybody has to smile at random people every day, at least once. Everyone has to do alpha. I think I would cap the amount of money that someone could have. Play nice. Wash up your own cafetiers. <laughs> Wait for people to get off the bus before you get on the bus. If someone says hello to you, you have to say hello back. You can say it's nothing when it's not nothing. Um, tell your Everyone song. has to have a song. Everyone, song. I want to see where you are every single time yeah. every day. You know, that's very thankful. Everybody has to at least have one takeaway per week. 99p gone. Say what you think. Pick up your rubbish after you. Uh, that no one bought from fast fashion anymore. You have to cook a meal a day that you give to somebody else. Put a bottle of kids. George Best. Oh, I don't know why, but Jack Black comes to mind. <laughs> oh, probably in Netflix as well. Probably Will Smith. Will Smith would be pretty cool. Samuel Pepys. My granddad, but he'd have to make the meal. Steven Gerrard. Joshua Bassett. Oh. Matthew McCann. Michelle Obama. Barack Obama. Harry oh. Styles. Um, maybe like, I don't know, like, Harry Styles. Like... My dad. I'm here with Jesus Christ. Yeah. Your mum. Roy Keane. Probably like a, a caveman. I think that'd be funny. I might say one of my favourite sports stars, so I might go Michael Jordan. I think. Bob Dylan. My granny. Nolan. Christopher Nolan. Gordon Ramsay. Lenny Henry. He's just great vibes. He just seems like a laugh. Uh, John Mayer. He's alive, but he's one of my favourite musicians. Dan, Dan Allen. Allen. Oh. I go to see a show. Musical. Solving World Hunger. A car. Probably a boat. Um, an Aston Villa scene ticket. I would buy a really old bottle of whiskey, aged pretty Glenfiddich, like 30. Like like the the gold dust of whiskey. Holiday for me. I'd probably go on holiday. Mackies. First thing, Bitcoin. Myself. I'm in so much debt. <laughs> buy like a nice coat. The dream rig, uh, so you know, a, a setup of electric guitar amp, pedal boards, etc. Probably send a little bit to our children. I'd probably give it to my family. I would uh, pay someone to do my degree for me. I'd just spend it on tickets to go to a country I haven't been to yet. Getting people in danger out of Afghanistan. Buy some new shoes. I would pay for a big fat family reunion with all my mum's side of the family. Worm farm? Not in a good place at all. Like, right, not in a good place. Corrupt. Simple answer. Corrupt. Well, looking pretty gloomy right now. Um, I think I think there's going to be a big shift around. So I think it might be coming out of a dark period of a few years. Fine. Oh, at the moment, maybe a world war to be honest. I'm 
yeah, I don't think it'll be very good in five years' time. It sounds really depressing and negative, but I think probably we're in for another few years of kind of like chaotic, widespread nationalism, the othering of people, scapegoating, etc. I think we'll pull out of it, but I don't think it's going to be for next few years. Still the same shit that we have now, which is the world going shit, going to more shit. More divided politically. Probably in a, in a like, we are gradually getting worse, I think the world is getting worse, slowly, slowly. Um, but, yeah, I, th I think it wouldn't be much different to what it is now. I think virtual reality would have set in a bit more. I think I see it more fractured, um, but great opportunities for God's love and truth to be shared and shown. How is it changing that much, to be honest? Still feel like they'll be quite the same and not much has changed. It's a bad time to ask that question right now because there's a lot going on in the world. Hopefully, um, thriving. But to be honest, I see it being much the same as it is now. In the moment, not much different to what we are now. In hindsight, once we're in five years, uh, we'll be thinking Gosh, we should have done something sooner. In five years time, it will almost be this decision of like whether or not people want to start actually re relearning some of these, what I would consider to be essential dialoguing skills. More advanced technology wise and society shifting just a different place or what is there. With hopefully no social media because it will have died out and we'll actually talk to each other. I think it's going to be in a lot worse state than it is right now. But I hope that it's not going to be like that. Hopefully, out of the pandemic. That's the main wish. Hopefully, recover from COVID and um, yeah, more responsible. Hopefully, past COVID or over it. Um, hopefully in a better place. Hopefully we'll be in a more kind of passive society. That's what I hope for. More peace. I think Jesus will have come again. Yeah. I hope there'll be a bit of a counterculture of more acceptance that, that comes through um, rather than cancel culture. No. No. Not really, no. No. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. Yes. 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 Ready? Yes. I just haven't seen a figure or a way the world works that I can truly really believe in a faith. I believe in my own beliefs and I think that if you are a good person, uh, you don't need a religion as long as you think that you're a good person and you're not terrorism in it. I don't particularly believe in organised faith. <laughs> There's no real way to prove or like disprove if there is a god or not, unless one comes out the blue and is like, hello. And because of that, the chances of it being any of the structured religions is pretty low. Because I believe in making your own way, because I feel like you create your own luck. I do want to have a faith, definitely want to have a faith, but I think... I have a lot of questions that are not answered and I'm somebody that like has to have my questions answered. I'd, I'd say I'd say the Christian one, like not really that much of a Christian that goes to church and preach really. Um I don't know, I don't really believe in like God or like a higher power or anything, but I think that like religion gives like a sort of structure to your life that is that can help people. Because he's a loving father and I've and he's helped me throughout my life, giving me the stuff I've got. 
and I guess I've got a loving family that helped push me to that point. Yeah. But also because I have prayed and I did not prayer, I feel like I've met God in various points and ultimately um, I find the words of Jesus deeply compelling. I think I've just always had an awareness of God and since being a teenager I think I've had encounters where I feel that God has very clearly spoken to me. Because Jesus has paid the price for us so we can have freedom and joy. Because I believe in love. I was brought up in a Christian family but it's since become my own. My man encountered Jesus. I've grown up in a Christian home. Um, I kind of had a personal relationship with God from when I was quite a young age, and like, yeah, it's just been a day in, day out thing of getting to know Him better and, yeah, trying to serve out of that. Because I believe that Jesus died and rose again for us, and that God sacrificing His Son is worthy of us giving our whole lives to worship and praise Him. Upbringing, largely, I'd say. Yeah, upbringing and just can't can't seem to think that there, there isn't something more. I got to know God for myself, and I've seen His relationship in my life and how that's changed who I am. And when I think of how far I've come, I know it's definitely not because of anything I've done. That it's only because of God's hand in my life that. I am where I am today. Because I believe Jesus is the best and perfect expression of God and who God is and I would want to follow no one else other than Jesus who is, I believe, the way, the truth and the life. Because I feel loved and valued. Uh, because I think throughout living my life, seeking truth and following him, I have uh, it has been confirmed to me beyond a reasonable doubt that Jesus is real. <laughs> Hi and welcome to my channel. him. I got that. Oh, did you? <laughs> Big Mac. Um, yeah, I, was <laughs> I hate them. <laughs> All right, that one. Five years time. Mm. Sorry, I just spat my drink out. Where do I start? <laughs> Ask the question, you fool. Wait, what's that alarm then? Okay, ready? No! 100%. Uh, so good. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, um. Len. <laughs> How to do that? We need to keep it like this. No, no, no. You can't do it. He's fast. I'm faster. Can I really do that? Okay. <laughs> if you could make a rule which everyone had to follow, what would be your rule? Call me sir. <laughs> 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 